and welcome to this video about how to teach your child how to read even when you're homeschooling more than one child. One of the biggest challenges and frustrations for parents that are trying to teach a child how to read can be what to do when you have more than one child in your house. We know that teaching a child how to read requires focused one-on-one -on -one time with the child who's learning. And it can be really hard to find that focused one-on-one -on -one time when you have more than one child at home. And so today I wanna share some strategies for how to teach reading to a child when you have more than one. If you haven't yet, please take a minute to like this video and hit subscribe to the channel so that you'll get notified whenever a new video is released. Okay, so when you're trying to teach reading and you have more than one child at home, one of the most important things that you can do is to make a strategy for what each child is going to do during your reading lesson. And it's important that everybody in the family knows the strategy and that each child who's not participating in the reading lesson knows and understands what your expectations are for them during that time. What you expect them to do will probably depend on the age of the child in question, but it's important that each child really understands what your expectations are. So this means that you need to figure out what you want them to do, and then you need to spend some time over a period of days or weeks teaching each child what it is that their job is to do while you're working on reading with their sibling. So the strategy, like I said, will change depending on the age of the child that you're not working with. So let's talk about some of those different ages and what kinds of strategies can work for them while their sibling is getting a reading lesson. First of all, let's talk about newborns because when you have an infant at home, this can be one of the most challenging seasons to be a homeschool parent. It can be really hard to find time and energy to devote to homeschooling other children when there is a small baby in the house. So you really have a few different options of what you can do with the newborn while you're teaching a reading lesson to the older child. Probably the easiest option is to plan your reading lessons during the infant's nap time. And this can be challenging to do because there are so many things that you could be doing with that nap time. But choosing that time for a reading lesson will definitely be the least disruptive, most focused time that you could possibly have. Another option is to wear your newborn or your baby in a baby carrier or hold them in your lap while you're doing the reading lesson with their sibling. It's possible that your baby might really enjoy that and your older child might enjoy it as well. One of the really fun ways that you can motivate the older child is by asking them to read to their baby brother or sister as a part of their reading lesson. And this might be a really fun way for the older child to bond with the baby because they get an opportunity to read to their brother or sister during their reading lesson. So if you have a child that's awake and alert and happy, this can be a really good strategy for how to get those reading lessons in with the older child. If you have a toddler, there are some unique struggles and challenges as well, because we know that toddlers need um, an increased level of supervision to be able to stay focused, even for a short period of time. So with the toddler, one strategy that can really help is to have a special busy box of activities that are only available to them while you're teaching reading to their sibling. And this can be any kind of toy or game or activity that your child can work with relatively independently and anything that they don't see on a regular basis except for during the reading time. So then that makes that activity really special because they only get it during those few minutes of that reading lesson each day and hopefully will motivate your toddler to want to do that activity during that time. Another thing that you can do is put the toddler in the high chair and give them a snack during the reading lesson. So some finger foods, for example, like Cheerios or something um, can help keep your toddler focused and in one spot and give you the opportunity to really focus on their sibling's reading lesson. When you have an older child, uh, you would think sometimes that that would make things easier, but that's not necessarily the case when it comes to doing a reading lesson with their sibling. And sometimes older children can also be really challenging in terms of having lots of needs while the reading lesson is happening. 
So with older kids, it's really important to set an expectation. Explain to them that this time is time that, they, that you need to focus and concentrate on working with their sibling and that you won't be available to answer questions during this time. You might give your child a procedure for what you want them to do if they need something from you during the reading lesson. Maybe there might be a certain signal that they give you or a certain way that they could wait with their question until you're ready to answer it for them. It can also be really helpful to give your older child some specific independent work that they can do during the reading lesson. You might have part of your homeschool curriculum that is a video, for example, and your child might be able to watch the video lesson while you do reading with their sibling. And then after the reading lesson is done, you can work on some follow-up activities from the video with their older sibling. It can also be a really good time for the whole family to have reading time together. So maybe while the younger sibling is getting a reading lesson, all of the older siblings are having independent reading time themselves. So there's lots of different strategies and different strategies will work for different families. But the really important thing is to make sure that your kids are aware of what the expectations are and to set the expectations really clearly in the beginning so that your kids will understand exactly what you want them to be doing during reading time. So hopefully this was helpful and gave you a lot to think about. Please hit like and subscribe on the video if you have not yet done so. And please feel free to leave your comment in the comments about what's helpful for your family when you're trying to teach more than one sibling at the same time.